What is a song you cannot listen to for an emotional reason? Highwayman by the Highwayman. Lost my little brother to cancer 5 months ago. We used to drive around in GTA 5 together. We live in different cities. Whenever that song came on the in-game radio we would stop whatever we were doing and sing along or just listen. Whenever I hear the song now I can still hear his voice singing along. And then when it's over he would always say now that's a good song. Miss you bro. You will remain. I'm sorry for your loss. My biggest fear is losing my dad and not being able to play with him again. I lost a friend who I played with online all the time as a kid. I like to think I'll be able to join them in the lobby. Over the Rainbow Israel Kamakoi Bowl. The song played at my best friend's memorial when she passed away very unexpectedly when I was 12. Willie Nelson always on my mind. My dad's funeral. I can listen occasionally, but I gotta be ready to cry. I'm 37 and it's been 4 years but it's still there. Go rest high on that mountain. Last heard at my dad's funeral. Will never be heard again. Moon River. Cause it reminds me of my grandma. She used to sing it often. I feel you on this. My dad used to sing me to sleep with this song. I'm incredibly emotionally attached. Queens who wants to live forever. We played it at my late husband's funeral. A decade later and I still can't listen to it. I can only imagine is the music in the background of my grandma's celebration of life's litter show. Instant tears when I hear that song. You'll be in my heart. By Phil. Anything that was in the Tarzan soundtrack immediately makes me burst into tears. My mom used to sing those songs to me when I was a little, little kid. Now she's dead and I can't tell you how much I wish I could claw my back back through time for her to sing all those songs to me again. Hurt sung by Johnny Cash. I watched my son die in a Ren ICU and it makes me think of him every time. The night we met. Lord Huron. Damn next time I'm gonna fall for someone I'll make sure it's morning. Dear Agony by Breaking Benjamin because it reminds me of the last two weeks of my mom's life before she died to cancer. Actually, I have a hard time listening to most of the band's music now since I've had four people close to me pass away in four years. I've removed their music from my playlists to save my sanity. I will follow you into the dark. I miss my sister. Great song. Love their music. What Sarah said is another beautiful, poignant song of theirs. Brothers in a Hotel Bed is my favorite song of all time. God bless Death Cab for Cutie. And yes, that is such a sad song. My first real boyfriend played this song for me on his guitar. My first hour song. Accompanied by my first real breakup and my first real heartbreak. Shh, listening to it now even 14 years later hurts. Funny how even the young relationships don't fade with time. My grandpa and I used to listen to Johnny Cash in the car together. He and my grandma helped raise me, so we spent a lot of time together. When I was very little I thought grandpa was Johnny Cash, as his name was Johnny also and he had a gravelly bass baritone and a thick twang. No matter what, when I walk the line came on, he'd hold out his hand for me to hold and he'd sing. I didn't know until I was much older that none of my family had ever heard him sing. He died two years ago, and I still can't hear I walk the line without bawling my eyes out. None of my family had ever heard him sing. Now I really, really miss my grandpa. Thank you for sharing that story. Ozzy Osbourne's Mama I'm Coming Home. Runaway Train by Soul Asylum. Both are wrapped up in my son's suicide. They are just too much for me. I'm sorry he's gone. I'm so sorry for your loss. This song brings me to tears too. Makes me think of my mother's suicide. I know I'm just a stranger. But if you need someone to talk to you can DM me. Soul Spree Hill by Peter Gabriel. It's the first song that came on the radio in the car after my wonderful father-in-law died. My very stoic and strong husband broke down in tears and it's now the song that shreds my heart. Sonny said grab your things I've come to take you home. Edited to add lyrics through my tears. Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Thanks for the silver friend. Fast Car by Tracy Champagne. My first award. I listened to this song on the way to work and cried the whole time. I love the song so much was worth the cry. Fly me to the moon. It reminds me of my first manic episode where I embarrass myself to everyone in my batch in first year college. Ah oh, that song made me remember Neon Genesis. I heavily regret opening this thread. What a wonderful world by Louis Armstrong. This song was what my parents used for their first dance at their wedding. 
My mom made sure it played at my dad's funeral in 2016. I haven't really been able to feel the same when I listen to it. Today, I broke down and listened to it again, celebrating what would have been my parents' 26th wedding anniversary. That song makes me tear up because I used to sing it to my daughter, who has since passed away. It is a good reminder of the good of humanity overall. I should give it a listen again soon. Sorry for your loss X. The Cranberries linger. It takes a minute and I'm done. MR Blue Sky. Used it as my morning alarm for a couple months and now it triggers my fight or flight response. I've noticed whatever song I use for an alarm is ruined as it just reminds me of getting up for work. Have to change them up pretty often. Might go back to the radio lol. Same here. I once changed it to some environmental music from Skyrim and when I played the game and that song came on it made me feel sick to my stomach xd. Snow Patrol you could be happy. I loved her enough to let her go once I realized I was just holding her back. She's very happy now. I hope it's been 13 years and I've moved on and gotten married and everything. But still I miss her sometimes. Father and Son by Cat Stevens. Whenever it shows up in a movie it's just cheating at eliciting emotions. When it popped up in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 I actually said oh f you in the quiet theater while attempting to suppress all feelings and failing. I drive your truck by Lee Bryce. My brother drove an old red Ford pickup. He got into a terrible car accident with his friend. He was not supposed to live. This song came out literally the same week my brother was unconscious in the IQ with severe brain damage. I was so sad and angry and all of the emotions in between. I remember grabbing the keys and jumping in his truck and driving around the country roads and crying my eyes out. This song hits me hard still. Amazing Grace. It was sung at all of my grandparents funerals. Used to be one of my favorite take me to church feel good songs. It's just so sad to me now. The Book of Love Peter Gabriel. That sh makes me cry every single time I hear it. Elliot Smith. Pretty much anything by him. He was my favorite artist for most of my 20s. And I listened to him so much during those years. That his whole catalog is kinda tied in with memories I'm done with. It just fills me with the kind of sad nostalgia I used to love indulging in. But as I've gotten older I've realized that kind of indulgence is unhealthy. So I don't bother anymore. And in general, I'm just not the person I was then. And listening to those songs makes me feel like I'm artificially being dragged back to old feelings and mindsets that don't fit me anymore. The Blower's Daughter. Because it was the theme song to the split between me and my fee and K. When I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. My wife divorced me after 16 years of marriage to be with another man. It hurt me really bad. After one year of being divorced she admitted to me it was mistake. I tried to have her come back but she's too ashamed. I can't listen to the album version of True Love Waits by Radiohead. When he says don't leave it just sounds so sad. Remember me from Coco. When Miguel sings it to Mama Coco, she reminds me so much of my grandma and a bulita that have both passed. I start bawling every time. Thank you for the gifts and my first gold. Wish you were here. Pink Floyd. A great tribute to dealing with the mental illness of someone they care for. Yes this. I commented with another song that I interpret about missing someone who is mentally gone. Pink Floyd just hits different. I had to leave my ex-partner because of his schizophrenia and it was so hard to let go. But the man I loved is gone and probably not coming back. Adam's song Blink 182. Couldn't listen to the song without crying until recently because I relate so well to the feeling of wanting to kill myself as a teenager. It reminded me that my loved ones would never be the same if that happened and the terror of hurting them that badly kept me from doing it. It also doesn't help that I have a brother named Adam who's tried to kill himself three times in the past year. Chess fun y'all. You'll never step foot in my room again. You'll close it off. Board it up. Remember the time that I spilled the cup of apple juice in the hall. Please tell mom this is not her fault. The last bit of that verse makes me tear up every time I hear it. It's kind of a silly one, but scattered by Green Day. Whenever I hear it, it reminds me of someone I miss very dearly. I discovered the song right around the time they passed away at a very young age. Can't help but wonder if things could have been different. If I Die Young by the band Perry, makes me cry every time. It's stupid but a whole new world from the movie Aladdin. 
My childhood was horrible and to cope I would listen to it over and over blasting it in my boombox and cry myself to sleep while listening to my dad abuse my mom grandma. As I got a little older, starting at around 5-6, and more brave, I listened to it after protecting my mom grandma by directing my dad's abuse towards me instead. Afterwards I would either hide, usually my mom and grandma would block the door of my room where I was, because he would threaten to kill me or I would run and hide in the woods until my mom or grandma told me he calmed down. During those scary moments, I would go to one of my hiding places and listen to that song on my CD player, so my location wouldn't be given away, because it was so frequent. I always had my CD player or MP3 player on me at all times because I never knew when he'd lose it. The worst part though, was being scared he'd use one of the many guns he'd chase me around the house with and shoot my mom or grandma because he couldn't get to me instead. The internal battle from 5-6 until I was 9 when he killed himself was do I stay safe or go to him so he would hurt me instead of letting him hurt them when I was the one he wanted to hurt. Anyways, that song comforted me a lot as a child but now it triggers my PTSD flashbacks. Brown Eyed Girl It was my mom's cell ringtone forever when I was growing up. Every time I hear the intro guitar if I think of her, and can picture her so clearly singing sha la la la. She passed away in July because of COVID, and it's been awful. If I hear even a few seconds of a song I completely lose it. I miss her so effing much and I can't handle it. Fields of Gold Everlong by the Foo Fighters, me and my sister did not have a great relationship growing up, but this song will always remind me of her, and although I don't really miss her often, that song makes me cry for her. Mr. Brightside messed with me for years until I was over a messy breakup, only recently can I enjoy it again. 1979 by the Smashing Pumpkins, I hung myself and the last thing I remembered was hearing that chorus. Eventually the rope broke and I was on the floor screaming, I'm glad you're here. The Last Goodbye by Billy Boyd, heard it at the end of a Hobbit binge upon getting all three movies and cried, I don't want to say goodbye to Middle Earth, I can rewatch LOTR and The Hobbit, sure, but I'll never feel the magic of them the first time again, I know that seems silly compared to everything else, but something about it gets me, it makes me sad, but also hopeful for the future in a strange way. I have two, both are really different but emotional, don't take the girl by Tim McGraw, hate me by Blue October, when I was 15, I met a girl on a train to Chicago, she had long black hair and she wore a oversized black hoodie that covered her face and arms, all the way past her hands, we became friends during the 20 hours we spent together, and spent a lot of time sharing her music, her library was extensive and I didn't know very many bands, but I knew Blue October from Into the Ocean, so I opened up the tab and saw that she only had Hate Me. As I tapped the song to start it playing, she lurched for a second, as if trying to catch and stop me, but she reacted late and the song had already started. I noticed and asked why she reacted in such a way. I just didn't expect to be listening to this song today. Sometime later she quietly fell asleep in the seat next to me. Her sleeping unconscious pulled up her sleeves to cool her off. Her arms were layered with scars. Every inch of her inner arm from her wrist to what I could see just before her elbow joint was covered in thin, fine slices. When she had awoken, I asked, in my naivete, if she was alright, and alluded to what I had seen. She looked down, her face was contorted in what I think was shame. She told me about her problem, and how it was the only way she could manage the way she felt about herself. She told me that she would play hate me and cut herself to stop the pain. I didn't have the emotional maturity to understand what I had done at the time. I do now. I hope you are still here. I think about you all of the time. I'm so sorry. Last Kiss by Pearl Jam. The first time I heard it I was in the car with my uncle and I had tears rolling down my cheeks because to less than 10 year old me the song was just that sad. I mean it is a really sad song. And I was an emotional kid. I'm sure you know it. It's about a car accident. Every time I heard it. It reminded me of that drive with my uncle. Last year, that same uncle passed away in a car accident with my cousin driving. Black by Pearl Jam is pretty heavy hitting too. So much raw emotion in that song. Vermilion Page 2 by Slipknot and Sism by Tool. Those were played at the funeral of my friend who committed suicide at 17. 
I've slowly worked towards being able to listen to these again as I like those songs before and they're from two of my favorite bands. Chasing Cars, It's a Shame, Really, I effing love that song, but my abusive, Evil X made it our song, so now I can't listen to it without bringing up the memories of all the horrible things they did to me. It's obvious, but Blink 182's I miss you, I really do miss you, friend. Hearing Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day still reminds me of listening to that song while in college when I was sad, lonely, stressed out, confused, and, for a phase, a quite regrettable pattern of turning to comfort food and rapidly gaining weight. It's hard to listen to anything by Linkin Park with Chester Bennington since Chester's death. Linkin Park has been my sh for ages. I've listened to it since 4th grade when I heard Castle of Glass in a store. Never looked back from then. Those songs hit different ever since 2017. A thousand years. We had just left my DR after finding out I was having a second miscarriage. Going to cry now. Literally anything by Nora Jones. She's lovely and all. And I'd otherwise enjoy her music. But my mom ruined it for me by playing it right after her fights with my dad. And right before taking her anger with him out on me. Now when I hear Nora Jones I get anxious and irritable. Tuesday's gone. How to save a life the fray. Always makes me cry. Used to come on at work and my friend would bolt for the radio to turn it off for me. That scrubs scene alone makes me weep. I cannot listen to this song in public because of this song. The night we met also for similar reasons. How to save a life the fray. This song came out a few months before my dad killed himself. So it was pretty popular on the radio. The part that kills me was that my dad had been texting my brother and I things that hinted at suicide. But we didn't know how to deal with it. So that line had I known how to save a life really hurts. Ocean Avenue by Yellowcud brings back bad memories. It makes me sad in the I miss when my biggest problem was my high school heartbreak type of way lol. Hotel California by the Eagles. It was my dad's favorite song and one of the songs we used at his funeral. When I finally got his vinyl collection the first one I put on was his original copy of the album. And I finally got to listen to it like he did for the first time. Bawled my eyes out. Someone saved my life tonight by Elton John. Was manipulated. Groomed. Spied on. Etc. By someone in my own home. He loved this song. Ended up killing himself. Lots of pain and confusion when I listen to it. Wake me up when September ends by Green Day. My dad liked to tease me. His way of showing affection. So he'd play it to make us both cry. He died August of last year. It's ironic that I can relate to it on such a personal level now. R.I.P. Dad. I miss you. I doubt many will read this. But it's a Finnish song. But tall orpa jan tordenmala which translates to here under the northern star. It's a beautiful, sad ballad about grief and dealing with the feelings of regret. A girl from my high school had, and still has, the most beautiful singing voice. And she used to sing in all the school celebrations we had. Nowadays, she just happens to be my sister's brother-in-law's wife and they are very close to her. My grandfather, who loved the book that had the same name as the song I mentioned died a few years ago at his funeral i was given the task to lay down the flowers from our family and give a short eulogy because i'm able to speak while being sad but before we got to that the girl i mentioned sang in the church and she sang the song tall opa jan torden mala it's a powerful song she has a powerful voice and i wept like a baby for the rest of the ceremony i stuttered so much during the eulogy barely able to get a word out thanks to the song it was so beautiful I hadn't heard her singing in maybe 10 years. It was breathtaking. I still hear it echoing in my mind. She hardly knew my grandfather, but still sang. For free. For him in his funeral. I no longer can listen to the song without thinking of my grandfather and this wonderful person for blessing the funeral with her singing. Two songs. Beloved by Mumford and Sons. Marcus Mumford wrote it about his grandmother dying. Stupidly. I played this song first when my cat was dying and then a year later when my grandmother was dying. Lyrics include, before you leave, you must know you are beloved, and before you leave, remember I was with you. The second song is Baby Mine from Dumbo. I sang it to my cat Jasper when he was a kitten, and played a version of it as he was dying. Guys, it even made the vet cry. This might be weird but Suit and Tie by Justin Timberlake. 
Back when I was in elementary school, my mom's alarm song was suit and tie and every morning my grandma would hear it and wake me up to get ready. My grandma would always have the weather channel on in the background while she did my hair and got me dressed. We would walk down to the bus stop and wait for the bus together and she would sneak me little candies when the bus arrived. She passed away from ovarian cancer in 2012. Now anytime I hear that song on the radio I have to turn it off to avoid crying. Unchained Melody. Something about that line. Time moves by so slowly. And time can do so much. I used to listen to that after my dog died and used to wonder about the afterlife. If there is one. And what it must feel like to have to wait there for the people who mattered to you in life and when they get there maybe they're not the people you remembered. Lullaby by Nikel back. My sister had a cat who she would sing that song to. He would rub up on her whenever he heard it. Run to her whenever she would sing it. Well, my mom's ex-boyfriend threw a fit and smashed the cat against the wall and stomped him nearly to death. Riding in the car with him to the vet everyone was crying. Especially my sister. He died during the car ride before we made it to the vet. She held him in her lap and wrapped his blanket over him and sobbed. We all were going to my grandma house to bury him and stay over there since we thought it wasn't safe at home. At some point during the car ride, that song came on. I watched her try her best through a shaky voice and tears to sing it to him one last time and it just broke me. I effing hate your mum's ex-boyfriend. Poor kitty. Num. Linkin Park. Loved the song until the family chose it at one of my best friend's funeral. 37 is too young to die. I didn't know it was coming. And it absolutely broke me. Sail by Owl Nation. It was my brother's favorite song. He would run around yelling sail at random times. I miss him. Whiskey Lullaby by Brad Paisley. It's such an emotional song and I've never had a song bring me to tears that way. I know it's country. Blah 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 people hate on country music for fun. But I think some of the saddest songs come from country artists. He Stopped Loving Her Today by George Jones is another one I can't listen to without crying. Any Linkin Park. Chester's voice got me through so much in my life. When he took his own, it just made it impossible to not break down knowing how he helped me stay alive. But then to ultimately be taken down by his own mental illness. Cats in the Cradle. Religious music. When I was a child, I was whipped. Not with a belt, but an actual whip that would tear the skin on my back. If I didn't participate in Saturday Sabbath church with my grandfather, I hated that church. They were practically a cult. My sister and I had to tend to each other's wounds nearly every weekend. We never told our other family either. We should have. But regardless, I can't listen to anything even remotely religious. It makes me angry and brings strong memories and pain to the surface. Africa by Toto. Reminds me of lost friendship. The Boys of Summer by Don Henley the Ataris. One more liked by Linkin Park. Discovered it not long after my friend killed himself and all it ever makes me think about is him. Rest in peace to him and to Chester.